This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome. This is the Scientific Method playlist for Unit 1. And today we're looking at observation and inferences, these two very important terms we need to learn and how to uh, think as a scientist, an Earth scientist, and geographer, and how we appreciate information. So this video is going to look at uh, basically defining all of the terms and how they relate to earth science and how we as scientists perceive our natural world and also the connections to other terms uh, within the scientific method and how we go about uh, our step-by-step -step process of conducting experiments, hypothesis and analyzing data. So an observation is defined as what we perceive through our five senses. And it is basically a fact about what you're seeing, which doesn't have any kind of bias involved, no agenda, um, and um, can be straightforward sometimes to give an observation, but also can be very difficult because you naturally bring your own biases and opinions into your observation which then would make it inaccurate. So observations are very important for scientists to conduct because it gives a basis or a foundation of what we're looking at. So it's fact and it has non-bias. So an inference in contrast, an inference is what the person or what you think about the observation. So the observation is your foundation, is what you would base on. And then the inference or what you infer comes from the observation and it's basically now uh, going to include bias. It's going to include your opinion. It's going to include your thoughts and your ability to uh, take out information, extrapolate information from your observation to think what is going on. So this is very important for scientists to do because you have to have that base of, of observations and then um, develop that into an inference of what's going on with this you know, section or piece of, of, of nature that you're looking at, whether it's an experiment or just you're out uh, collecting data, and you're trying to think what what's going on, what's happening here based on the observation, and that's the inference. So how do we use this as scientists? Now, the observations are very important because if you take, if you uh, imagine yourself on a coastline, on a beach, looking out over the ocean, and it's a clear enough day we can see, you know, seven, ten miles out into the ocean. You would see the horizon where the sky meets the ocean, or the atmosphere meets the ocean. And you would see this, pretty much this flat line that separates the, the ocean from the atmosphere. And you can take from that that it is perceived to be flat. So from that point of view, from your uh, five senses telling you mostly through sight that the um, ocean or land or the earth is flat based on what you're seeing. So the observation could be correct for that particular point of view from that location. However, the inference is going to be, you know, is it flat? Is that correct? You know, what do I take from that observation and what do I think about it? Now, that is more of an opinion. Now, to say the Earth is flat would be inaccurate because if you were to change your location, change your altitude, change your how you see in the Earth, let's say you went up into a, um, an, a hot air balloon or an airplane and you went higher. So if you change your altitude, you'd actually uh, get a different observation of the Earth and see that that initial flat surface that you perceive from ground level, from sea level, is actually now 
with a larger perspective, a larger viewpoint, you can see more of the natural curve. It's just you are too small to see the curve being on the on the on the the beach, whereas up higher you have a different perspective and you can change that observation and therefore your inferences will change accordingly. Thanks for watching and check out more videos on Unit One.